Do you want to know how to clip in Logic Pro, but you can't see the clipper plugin? That's because there isn't one dedicated plugin to it in Logic Pro. But there are actually four ways that I know of to clip things in Logic Pro. Let me show you how. So we're just gonna use a kick drum for this video. Simple, and as you can see, I've got an oscilloscope here so you can see the waveform as it hits, and you've got span down here so you can see the frequencies that are going on. And we're gonna use this more to see the overtones that are created when we use different clippers. So when you clip something, similar to like when you saturate something, you create new overtones. With saturators, they'll do that straight away. As soon as you start driving them, they'll start to saturate and you get these lovely new harmonics and it will thicken up the sound. But with a clipper, this happens when you exceed zero dBs and you clip, you cut off the top of the sound and this creates a distortion, which is what makes it louder, fuller, punchier, etc. So first off, I'm gonna show you what a industry standard clipper looks like. So this is TR5 Classic Clipper, and it's got two types of clipping really. You've got this slope here, and it's got a soft slope and a hard slope. So soft clipping and hard clipping. So I've got gain control here, and this allows me to drive it, and I've got an output set at zero. So if I have, if I just play this now, I increase the gain. And that's quite smooth. So because I've got it on the soft clipping mode there, it's quite smooth. It's creating, you should be able to see in the oscilloscope, it's getting a bit squarer. Notice it gets more square, but it's still staying quite rounded. Whereas if I move it over to the hard clipper now, you can see that waveform is clipping and you can see it's very much made into a square wave. So if I gain it even more, so that should illustrate what's happening, the difference between soft clipping and hard clipping. So what we can also do to see what the new harmonics are doing, what new overtones are being created, if I move this to a test oscillator, that is a 100 hertz tone sine wave just coming through there. And what we can do now is if we apply this clipper, so I'll put it to soft mode first, so you can see some overtones are being created there, nothing too drastic. They're quite nice overtones, if you ask me. If we move it to hard clip now, let's start to drive it a bit harder. A lot more noise, a lot more digital distortion happening there, which I don't think sounds as nice. Dial it back, and that's a lot more pleasant to my ear. There you go, it's a lot more aggressive. So yeah, I just did that to demonstrate what new harmonics are created when we clip something. Okay, so that is our reference, if you like. So now let's look at the options that are available to you in Logic. So first off, we have the compressor. So if I open that up, and so we can actually bypass this section by just not using it. And over here in the output section, if you see the distortion, there is soft, hard, and clip. So you've got a few clipping options here. So we've got to make sure the threshold is at zero first. The ratio is down at one to one. And the makeup gain we're going to use as our drive. So that's all we need to use. Make sure your makeup or your auto gain is off, sorry. And we're gonna use this to drive it. So in uh, bypass mode, nothing happening there. Move it to soft. You can already start to hear something happening there. But if I now drive it, so about 12 dBs there, and you can see it's starting to square off. And if we compare that to this, TR5 in soft clip mode. Sounds pretty good. So that's the clipper. And that's fairly smooth as well. That sounds pretty nice to me. So we've got the soft mode there and we've also got hard. So it is a bit noisier and you can see it's a bit more of a straight line up the top there on the oscilloscope. So you can see it's been clipped off a bit more hard rather than rounded in soft mode. Obviously it depends how much you drive it. And then you've got clip. And this is the noisiest and this is my least favorite to be honest. And you can see that there's more distortion happening. You can hear there's more distortion happening there. I think the soft distortion mode is a really nice clipper. So you can soft clip using the compressor. And just to test this with the test oscillator, let's turn it on. There you go. So one extra harmonics being added there. If we move to hard, a few more harmonics. Let's drive it. Really noisy now. So go back to soft. It's a bit more pleasant. It's a bit more linear. Whereas hard, a little bit more ringy. 
clip even more noisy, right? So that's what's happening from a harmonic perspective. Okay, so that was the compressor. The next one we can use is the overdrive. And yes, you might be thinking, isn't this for saturation? And yes, it can be used for saturation. It is going to start saturating the signal before it exceeds zero decibels. But once you do push it up further and further, then it is going to start clipping. So we want to take level compensation off here. We want the tone all the way up and the drive we're going to slowly increase. So let's have a listen. And that's a nice sound. Just got to watch that 0.1 now. But essentially, you've got a soft clipper there. Boost it more, gets more square. So you're kind of pushing more into hard clipping now. Just obviously watch the volume. But yeah, that's kind of a hard clipper there. And here you've got more of a soft clipper. But if you compare that to the TR5, and the overdrive nothing wrong with that as a soft clipper at all yeah i really like the overdrive plugin it's great for saturation it's great for clipping and let's just see what it's doing with the test oscillator so bypass let's turn it on so you've got a single overtone there similar to the compressor in soft clip mode they're probably using the same algorithm boost it there we go getting a bit harder see it squaring off as well it starts to get more noisy but it's still quite linear in the overtones it still sounds relatively pleasing to the ear so i like the overdrive as a alternative clipper so next one you've got is the bit crusher so let's take a look at that Val. and what you want to do here is set the resolution to 24 bit you want to have the down sampling at one mix at 100 be on the clip mode so let's turn it on, start to drive it. Okay, so it's already starting to distort. It's a bit more, you can see it's harder here. Doesn't really soft clip this one. It's pretty much straight into hard clipping once you get to about 10 dB in this instance. And it's quite noisy. Yeah, very fat if you like that sound, but this is definitely hard clipping. You can see it there. It's a square wave. So Bit Crusher is great if you want a hard clip sound. Yeah, completely viable way of getting a clip sound in Logic Pro. Very heavy, a fair bit of noise distortion coming through, but nothing wrong with that if you like the digital clip sound. Let's run it through the test oscillator. Let's bring back that drive a little bit. Turn it on. So at this point, still sine wave. There we go. It's very quickly adding in a lot of these extra harmonics. And yeah, personally, I don't like this sound that much. I don't like those upper harmonics that it's created, those overtones. It sounds a little bit too noisy, a little bit too digital for my tastes. I prefer the kind of sound of more even harmonics. If you've got a 100 hertz sine wave, then 200, 400, 600, 800, that would be your even harmonics. But here we're getting kind of a noisier sound. So Bit Crusher is great if you want the hard clip sound. And there is one other hard clip sound you can get, and that is by doing the fat effects. So let's try this now. So uh, I've got everything turned off, all these modules, except for the master. So on the master, you'll see that you can have off hard clipping or soft clip or soft limiting, not soft clipping. So hard clipping, let's give it a try. And um, the output set at zero dB and the input I will slowly bring up. So let's go. Okay, so already quite creating a bit of distortion. It's quite noisy, this one. So yeah, it's quite a hard clip going on there. Quite noisy, quite distorted. I don't love the sound of this hard clipper, but it's there if you want it as a secondary hard clipper. Now, what I do quite like in here is the soft limiting section, but that is not clipping. So as you'll see, the waveform is not being clipped. Its integrity is being kept. It's still a smoothish sine wave. It's just being pushed down a lot, which is what a limiter does rather than a clipper. The clipper cuts off the top, a limiter shoves it back down. So let's apply the same. So there you go, it's retaining its shape, even with 15 dB. But it's not as noisy, but it's loud and it's punchy. 
and it's keeping its shape and I quite like that sound personally. And so just to test it as well, let's put it through the oscillator. Let's reduce the input a sec. Test oscillator. So there we go, starting to get some harmonics, harmonic series. And fairly, fairly chilled. It's not going crazy. That's why I quite like the sound, I think. If I now put it to hard clipping, boost it a bit more. You got a lot more, a lot more harmonics, and the order's changed a little bit. There you go, and that just sounds a little bit too much like digital distortion for my taste. But if you like the sound, then go for it. There's no rules. So there you have it. Really, there are four different ways you can achieve clipping in Logic Pro. So therefore, you don't have to buy any fancy additional plugins. I do really like the TR5 Classic Clipper. It is my favorite. This is my go-to clipper. If you don't have that, just use the compressor, the overdrive for soft clipping, or the bit crusher or fat effects for hard clipping. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. What do you prefer, soft clipping, hard clipping? Do you understand the difference between saturation and clipping? And if you like this video, then check out this one because I'm sure you'll learn loads from this one too. Take care.